All right, <clears throat> welcome to the Grape family. Uh, this is Abraham. In my video today, I want to talk about differences between crop farming and animal farming and which one you should go for. You know, a lot of people, they have more strength uh, to go for both. And some people, they just decided they will go for either of the two, whether crop or animal. And I think those two are profitable. Like if you love and have that energy, you can go for the two. For me, I love animals and that is what I enjoy and raising. So they have advantages and disadvantages and one has more disadvantages than the other especially animal child animal you have to be there you have to or get someone to be there you know but the crop once you plant your crop and you do the necessary things the next step is for you to be waiting for the harvest time you know, for you to harvest. But for the animal, you have to feed them. They don't have break. They don't have holiday. They need to eat. So sometimes people can travel. If they do not have anyone to take care of their animals and sometimes when we want to travel we have to look for someone that will help us feed our animals and sometimes it is very hard so that is the disadvantages yeah, for raising animal and then the diseases are common in both. But my real concern is the fact that you can't leave animals for so long without anybody taking care of them. Why? In crop farming, you can plant your crop, travel, and, and come back. So, if you are thinking which one you should go for, I think the two and if you are the person that you, you don't have much time you should do crop and you you travel a lot you should do crop or hire someone to be managing it for you so that is all i want to share with you in this video today please like you know subscribe and you know there are so many things i love to share but the time we come i will i'll be bringing them out one after the other thank you for subscribing to our channel and following us you know god bless you